Hello everyone, Pick up in here, back with another bang video, guys. Today, we have a science experiment in this brand new lab, guys. Look up on my back. What do you see? That's a jetpack, guys. But, uh, we're not finished. We need to get two things. So, let's go give at S black underscore wool times two, two, two. There we go. Let's give at S red stone underscore torch. There we go. That's all we need to make the ignition button. There it is. The jetpack button. Whoa! We're already flying. That is awesome. Look at this, guys. We're gonna fly right out of here. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Ah! Whoa, let's see if we can get a safe landing. Oh, there we go. That was awesome, guys. That was awesome. That was awesome jetpack. Guys, we're going to do some really cool experience with this. Now, basically, I also want to explore this my new lab. I had someone else create this for me, so it's not exactly... Not exactly the... Um, how should I say this? I don't know, I just need to explore it a bit. Now, I think this, now this here is going to be the observing sheet. Observation chamber. So I can observate the uh, sort of experiments going on here. This is the entrance outside. Now, I may one day in the future upgrade my lab, but this lab is good for enough for me right now. It's got a grand entrance, you know, a nice yellow carpet. Um, now, you may be wondering how did I get this jetpack? I will show you how to create a jetpack. Now, if I can go ahead and go in game mode creative. Now, guys, you won't be able to do this in proper vanilla Minecraft. I don't know why I kept looking up. But what you need is you need iron block. You need actually... No. Two blocks of iron. One wool. One piece of redstone and a flint and steel. Now, when you do that in the crafting table, you could put the black wool here, two blocks of iron there, flint and steel in the middle, redstone on top, and it's going to see a knowledge book here. Now, this is if you have the data pack I have. I will try to put it, a link in the description, but no promises, guys, as uh, I'm a new YouTuber. Well, not new, but. I don't have the actual link with me right now. So, once we have that, we now have a jetpack, and I think I put it on myself. No way that I just put it on myself. Okay, I, yeah. So, in order to put it on, you hold it on. In order to put it on, see, so you can't just pick it up, put it on like this. You actually have to hold it in your hand, and it'll go back on. So, it's kind of a neat thing. Now, it is daytime, guys. We do have cheats enabled in this world, thankfully. So, uh, nope, not game mode. Time, set, day. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have a flight. So, I'm going to stand on top of this. Here we go. Wow, this is cool. Go for landing! Oh, that was a nice landing, guys. Look at that. Now we can take a good look at our lab. It doesn't look bad. 
small, but I could expand it in other directions. But I think for now, it is a very good lab. Woohoo! Let's see if we can land back in our lab. Here we go. Uh, oh. Something's burning. I think I should probably take this off. Okay. That was awesome, guys. We actually had a jetpack in Minecraft. Now, guys, this is our very first experiment, and I'm going to put it in the chest over here. Thank you guys for watching. This was very fun to do. I had really enjoyed playing with a jetpack. It was awesome. So, um, yeah, make sure to subscribe and uh, like the video. Comment down below what you think of the jetpack and uh, if I should do something really cool with it. So, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, Pickle Man out.